Good evening everyone and welcome to 4th Heswell's first online AGM. My name is Peter Ashworth and I'm the group chairman. A very warm welcome to all parents and leaders and our guests from district. These are unusual times, or some would say interesting times, and I hope you're all well and coping with the situation. Hopefully, in the words of Robert Browning, the best is yet to be. Our agenda and accounts and reports for the evening have been distributed. We haven't received any apologies for the meeting, so the next item is to approve the minutes of the last AGM. We have not had any comments or objections to the minutes, and therefore they are now formally approved as a true record. They will be signed as soon as possible. The next item is the 2019-20 accounts. These have been presented by the group's honorary treasurer, Tony Halewood, and have been circulated. As you will see, the vast majority of our income comes from subs and the Scout Christmas Post. However, these accounts are only up for the year ending 31st of March, and as you will know, things have changed considerably since then. As we are not meeting, our subs have reduced significantly, and there is doubt over the viability of the Scout Christmas Post this year. This will have a major impact on our income. Thankfully, due to prudent financial planning in previous years, the group is in a reasonably healthy condition, although we do have some costly outgoings this year, which will severely reduce our balances. We therefore need to identify some new funding streams to obtain income. And if you have any ideas as to how we can do this, or are able to help in any way, please contact your section leader. The next item is the Chairman's report. My report has already been circulated, but I would like to thank everyone in the group for all their hard work, which has culminated this year in the group being awarded the President's Prize by our district colleagues. This is a tremendous honour and is the result of many years of dedication by many leaders and helpers over that time, but especially because of the new ways of working we have recently adopted. This demonstrates the group's ability to adapt and change with the times. We are a progressive group, proud of our past and our traditions, but willing to respond to the challenges of the present and of the future, while being mindful of our heritage. The leaders and our young people have responded to the current challenge enthusiastically, and I am sure we will come through this situation stronger and better. We always welcome new helpers, so if you have any ideas or skills or just a bit of spare time and would like to pick up some new skills yourself, please let us know. The next item on the agenda is the appointment of the Group Executive Committee and Trustees. The Group Secretary, Bernie Halewood, has submitted the list of names which is shown here and this has also been circulated prior to the meeting. As there have been no further nominations or objections, those people are duly appointed to the committee for the next year. Thank you all for your support, and I look forward to our meetings. I would now like to hand over to the group scout leader, Mo Barker, for her report. Thanks, Mo. Many thanks, Peter, uh, and welcome to everyone. Um, it's lovely to see so many of you um, on our AGM. We certainly have experienced some unusual times since our last AGM. Normally, we would be milling around the St. Peter's Centre for our annual summer fair and AGM, which, would, which over the last couple of years uh, has been a tremendous success. This year, I hope you are all sitting comfortably, ready to share our achievements and celebrate with our young people. My full report has already been circulated by our secretary, Bernie, so I shall not repeat what you've already read. Uh, I would like to reiterate what Peter has said by saying a huge thank you to you all, to our leaders, exec, parents and young people for being absolutely fabulous. 
we have all managed, all had to manage so many different elements over the last few months. For some, it has meant working from home. For others, homeschooling. And for many of us, it's been a little bit of both. You may have experienced illness, reduced income due to furlough, or even redundancies or the loss of a loved one. The trials have been many, and for some, scouting may have been the furthest thing from your minds. However, as is sometimes the case, we need a little normality to help us through the difficult times. And I think scouting can provide that distraction. It makes us doers and get up and goers uh, when others might feel like giving in. Many of our young people have engaged in community projects, uh, looking out for neighbours by posting, do you need any help leaflets? simply posting a letter to someone that they haven't spoken to for a long time that they know would appreciate receiving a letter or creating a poster for 10,000 acts of kindness. This is the true spirit of scouting, not giving up, always thinking of others before yourself and keeping a very positive attitude at all times. Well done to all of you whatever you have done over this period, particularly in our new teams or house patrols. Many thanks to our parents and carers for being super stand-in section leaders, particularly on the virtual camps and fantastic ambassadors of scouting. As Peter has already indicated, we are always in need of new helpers should you have found it enjoyable enough. Although we are coming to the end of our normal summer term, we shall continue to work behind the scenes to enable uh, a restart of some of our activities. This will not happen overnight and the safety of our young people is paramount. We are continually taking advice from the, uh, the Scout Association um, in the ramp up to face-to-face uh, -face meetings. Uh, up until Monday, uh, we were in the red phase, which basically meant no face-to-face -face meetings at all, only virtual uh, meetings. Um, from Monday, we became in the, or came into the amber phase, which now means that we can meet uh, outdoors with up to 15 people, but that does include leaders. Um, progressively then, we will move on to yellow and green phases, which will enable us uh, to lift a few more restrictions each time. However, as I said, this won't happen overnight, so we will be producing uh, risk assessments and consulting with you every step of the way. Uh, the risk assessments will be approved by our leaders, our executive committee and our district teams before we are actually able to do any meetings. Um, if you have a particular reason why you do not want your son or daughter to return to us just yet, that's absolutely fine. Nobody is going to force you to come along, uh, particularly if they're vulnerable or if they've been shielding, okay? Work with us and remain engaged with us. We want to engage with as many of you as possible over this next few months. Now, onto our group awards. As you heard Peter say in our recent district AGM, uh, which was like ours held online, uh, I was thrilled to hear that Fourth Heswell had won the President's Prize. Um, although slightly biased, uh, I have to admit that I always thought that Fourth Heswell Scout Group was the best, uh, but I am thrilled and honoured that other members of our district team also think so. It is a true testament to all of you, from our youngest member to our longest serving volunteer, and all parents and helpers that we can truly claim to be the best group around. Thank you again. I'm a bit behind in my slide, sorry. Um, before I move on, I would like to say a huge thank you to Andy for helping us put this slideshow together. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, our next award um, is the Jung the George Longstaff Trophy. Uh, it was introduced or reintroduced uh, at our last year's AGM, having been originally awarded in 1982, following the passing of the then District Secretary, George Longstaff, as a show of gratitude by the then committee for everything that he had done for Fourth Heswell. The George Longstaff Trophy was presented to the scout who it was felt had best 
fulfilled the traditions of scouting and who had achieved much uh, achieved much for the good name of the group <clears throat> we have changed it slightly uh, in that it's awarded to a group member rather than a scout and this year it goes to somebody who is the epitome of fourth heswell and scouting he has been part of the group through boyhood through to the present winning the queen scout award in 1981 and becoming sea scout leader in 2010 having assisted for many years prior to this his father was one of the founder leaders of fourth heswell so we owe him a huge debt for the group's existence and seafaring success the george longstaff trophy this year goes to martin james many thanks martin we move on next to the chief scout awards as many of you will know, the Chief Scouts Awards are the, the highest award that can be obtained in each section. Bronze for the Beavers, Silver for the Cubs, Gold for the Scouts and Platinum for the Explorers. These awards take a lot of time and determination to obtain even when we're doing meeting face to face. So with each section having to achieve all of the challenge badges and a number of activity badges throughout their time in that particular section. It is fabulous to know that we have three Bronze Chief Scout Awards and two Silver Chief Scout Awards to award this evening. No easy feat considering that these have had to be completed during lockdown. I am very pleased to present the Chief Scout Bronze Awards to Amelia Francis, Johnny Fox and Samuel Brown. Congratulations to all of you. I am also very pleased to present the Chief Scout Silver Awards to Joseph Maudsley and Harrison Brown. Well done both of you. Well done to all our award winners. I shall now pass you over to the section leaders for them to award their trophies. First, here is Beaver Scout leader, Becky Fox. Thank you, Mo. So in the beaver section, we have the Endeavour Cup, and this is awarded to the beaver that we think is the best embodiment of um, friendship, fun and adventure, which is what beavers is all about. Um, it's such a difficult job. I wish I could uh, present 22 of these awards because really every single beaver, I think, deserves recognition for all the hard work and enthusiasm and fun during the year. Um, so it's really hard to choose one, but I do have to. So um, this year, the Endeavour Cup, uh, the winner is the beaver that I think has really, really demonstrated such a commitment to beavers. His attendance record has been absolutely impeccable since he joined um, in the spring term last year. Um, and he's, uh, despite not... Um, going to the same school as a lot of the other beavers, he's always really been very enthusiastic, full of fun, um, gets into really stuck into all of the activities, even at, a very, uh, at the early stage of his scouting career when he came away on group camp and, uh, and had a great time with us at Thurstiston. So he's always got a smile on his face, always enthusiastic, and I'd love to recognise him at this point. So the winner of the Endeavour Cup this year goes to... Nye Dennis. Congratulations, Nye. I'm going to hand over to Melanie now for the Cubs section. Thank you. Thank you, Becky. This year, the Cub of the Year Award is being awarded to a Cub who, after over two years as a member of Fourth Heswell Cubs, is now about to move on to Scouts. He attends Cubs on a regular basis and although he finds some of the activities more challenging and not always in his comfort zone, he pushes himself and joins in and enjoys himself. He is always ready with a helping hand. He is polite, pleasant and appreciative. This year, the Cub of the Year Award is awarded to Henry Wallace. And now I would like to hand over to Andrew Everett, Sea Scout Leader. Thank you, Melanie, and good evening, everyone. First, can I say it was very hard to choose a single recipient for this year's award. So many of our Sea Scouts have 
represented our group at district level uh, with impeccable behaviour and huge amounts of enthusiasm. Um, it's truly proud to be a fourth Hessel Scout leader. Fourth Hessel Scouts have adapted themselves really well to the sudden change in the way we deliver scouting. And uh, so much so, in fact, that I think our shopping list for the badges um, this year is going to be one of the biggest the group has ever seen. The Victory Cup um, is awarded to the fourth Hessel Sea Scout, who has enthusiasm and determination, um, has a willingness to learn new things, and is a valued member of the troop. Um, they have to have shown good character throughout the year and um, also improvement year on year. This year's winner has been with our group since he was very young. And there's a junior Sea Scout. Um, his determination and his enthusiasm to try all things, see all things, do all things, say all things, perhaps was misunderstood. And as such, she could often be seen flying around like a paper kite during activities, um, albeit with a little more noise. However, over the years, his emerging maturity has allowed his true, true character to shine. Um, I'm happy to report also that he's not lost any of his enthusiasm for scouting, and I sincerely hope that that continues. He's now a sensible and respected team member. He's a natural patrol leader and a scout upon whom the leaders can rely. Um, so this year's Victory Cup from 4th Hazel Sea Scouts is awarded to Matthew Donnan. Congratulations, Matthew. I will now hand you back to our group chairman, Peter Ashworth. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Andy. Many congratulations to all the award winners. In particular, I would like to thank Martin and all his family for their tremendous contribution to the group over many years. We hope it continues for many more years yet. I would also like to add my personal thanks to Bernie and Andy for their help in organising tonight's meeting. Thank you all for joining us tonight. At this stage, I would normally wish you a safe journey home. In the circumstances, I don't think you have too far to go, so I will just say, stay safe, and please contact us if you have anything you would like to raise. Good night, and we hope to see you soon. See you in a bit then. Don't slam the... <laughs> Bye, Dad. See you later. Check it out. Whoa. Hey, guys. See you next week. Bye. Bye. <sighs> There's absolutely no chance of getting into the car, mate. Look out for your sister, yeah? Dad! Don't slam the... Yeah! Okay, guys, let's go. Come on, Dad, don't delay. You want to come up front? 